So I'm here with Dale Lee, the Managing Director of Coffee Works. Dale, I'm going to ask you a few questions that the audience right in there is going to want to know. Okay. So first thing is, what is a personal habit or something about your daily activity that you attribute to your excess, success? That I attribute to my excess or success? <laughs> Both. <laughs> A daily habit that I, well, I think <clears throat> these days, probably the most important one is a good night's sleep. When I was young, and that's probably partially driven by age. Yeah. When I was younger, and certainly in spurts even now, I mean, I can go on little sleep and perform, but I, I'm, I just find them more effective if I try to get a good night's sleep. So, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I really like it. It, it, it. it benefits me from a health perspective. But what it meant, like yesterday was Sunday. Yeah. And I ended up, I didn't plan on it, but I ended up working nine hours straight. And part of the reason I could do that is because I got a good night's sleep the night yeah. before. And I think for me, I, I noticed that what I require changes over time. Like when I was younger, I didn't require right. as much. Right. And now, okay, that's interesting. So, another question is. What would you tell your 20 year old self? You know, now knowing all that you've faced and all the challenges, what would you, you know, tell, tell yourself? Well, it, that's, you probably have to qualify that if, because without qualification, I would say, oh, go immediately into the coffee industry back then and learn as much as I could about it. Um, and then maybe start my own business earlier. But, uh, if I qualify that, that question a little bit, I, I, I would probably say what I ended up doing, uh, which is in terms of study for me, what was really the most beneficial thing for higher education was to study what I like, rather than say, oh, accounting uh, or business administration or computer science or whatever is practical and I should study something practical to get a job to get a job <clears throat> right that's some if, if some people if, if someone is really truly passionate about accounting that's great study that uh, there, there, in fact I've developed a great appreciation for good accounting and, and understanding the basics of accounting uh, even though it's something I never officially studied in university but I think what really helped me was uh, to study what I really liked and not necessarily worrying about if it was connected to a job producing or money so, producing. So that's interesting because if you, you study Japanese. I majored in Japanese and I minored in economics and that might have informed someone at that time that I would do something with language or maybe I would live in Japan or yeah. who knows, but yeah. life didn't work in that direction. So if you told someone that, uh, should I study accounting because I want to get a job, or should I study art because I want to, I love art and I want I to work in art. I think you should study what you love. And even and though if, you may not end up yeah, in and, that place. And I would add to that, if somebody doesn't know yet what they love, which is very possible when you're 18, 19, 20, you may not know yet what you love. Right. And I mean, I, I found myself thinking that at that age, like, well, what is my path? Or what is it that I really like? I wasn't even probably very clear about that. Right. So, uh, <clears throat> if I was to extol any advice about study, I would say, well, then study how to be a good presenter and a good communicator. Because what I've learned now, fast forward to being slightly over 50, uh, is that no matter what discipline one is in, people who who are engaged and do well are good communicators. Right. So whether and I'm a I'm a hobbyist jazz drummer, and so I that's made uh, situations possible for me to interact with professional musicians right. who uh, who I really admire and who are super talented people. Some of the ones that seem to be even more talented or more successful happen to also be good communicators. Right. Um, and that's also true in business, and, and I think that's true in politics, certainly, and any, any discipline you pick. People that have an ability to effectively communicate, uh, present, are successful at what they do, no matter what the discipline is. So okay. I would say study communication, study give, how to give a great speech. If, if there are you know, four speech courses and you take them all, right? Try to get with a 
speech professor after and, and figure out how you can give more speeches and yeah. public speaking engagements and okay. uh, so communication, public speaking, presenting. Great. All right. So there you have it from Dale Lee. Thanks for giving us that advice, Dale. Thanks for uh, asking me to participate. Mm -hmm.